Commvault logs. How to read them, how to get them, and how to troubleshoot them. A couple different ways you can pull up logs. So the first way, the easiest way I should say, is navigate through your directory. So it would be C drive, program files, Commvault, constant, content store, followed by log files. If you scroll down here a little bit, you're going to see log files down here. So you can double click on them. And these are all your log files. So the first one we can look at, let's say, is job controller or job manager, basically. Let's double click on it. This opens up a text file. And that's usually what, mostly, most of the time, that's what you would, you would look at. You'd look at this and you'd figure out what the issue is. Now, there's a better way to do it than this. The other way, the better way, I should say, is to click on the process manager. Then click on the process manager and click on logging. So we're general plugin processes services logging. And then just right click on the job, the log you want to, you want to view, and right click and click on open log. So that's going to open up a program called GXTail. So where do you find this GXTail if you want to just open it up? So GXTail is actually located in your base directory. So C drive, program files, com vault, content store base. Inside base, there's a program called GXTail. So GXTail is essentially what that is. That's a way you can read your files. Double click on it. That's essentially GXTail. So if you wanted to say do it this way, you would click on, if you wanted to import a log, let's say, you click on file, maybe open, and you're looking for that log file. Log file could be C drive, C drive, program files, Commvault, content store, log files, and then whatever log file, job, let's say job manager, right. So you get the same thing essentially. Okay. Now how do you, you don't want to scroll over all the time, look at your logs and all that stuff. Well, you can either go to view. I'm sorry, you can go to options, which is word wrap, or just hit the W, and then you go. If you wanted to look at the logs, so you're looking at them, you're like, I have no idea, I'm just a new person to Commvault, I have no idea what I'm looking at. A lot of times what happens is the job manager starts everything. The job manager will tell you what the error is. So if you scroll down a little bit here, and let's go to one, let's close this and go to one that actually has some of the, the blue and colors and all that stuff on what's really going on. So if we scroll up a little bit here, say job manager, okay. So leader has not completed yet, fine, error. There's a failed, okay. Uh, scroll down a little bit, errors. Uh, failed, failed connection, unable, warning, success, failure, failure. Now, obviously, I don't have a job running, so it's not going to show anything else, but the good start is your job manager. That's the start of everything. Let's say you want to look for a job ID. You want to you wanna get some information. Let's say you're looking for, I don't know, the word loader. Or let's say this job ID, that's a job ID, right? 302, 3204, excuse me. You go to options, actually you go to edit, markers and filters, and then you could just, let's change the color to say, you know, let's say this color here, this turquoise uh, blue. Put your little job ID in there, and then you just push OK. And you see all the job ID. And if you're looking for something specific, it can tell you that. If you're looking, let's say you're looking for a word or a phrase or something. Let's say this right here. This is this is a word. You're looking for that. Edit, markers and filters, and put that in there. Let's say that. So everything is highlighted exactly what you talked about and the reason you reason you do this is because it makes it easier to look for for errors and failures and a lot of different things now if you wanted to look for 
logs or send the logs, let's say, to Convo for any reason, what you would do is you'd right-click on the ComCell ID, right-click on it, and you click on All Tasks, and then Send Log Files. And then you would highlight, you would, you know, pick a job ID or, in this case, it's sending logs from everything. This is just going to send all the logs from the ComServe media agent or whatever. Now, the ComSell information is here. You can click on a couple things. But normally, you just need one thing, one job ID or one media agent or ComSell. And they're going to tell you what they need. The, the ComVault support will tell you what they need. So the notification is going to be sent to this email. So whatever the email here is, it's going to be sent to. So it'll be like support at convault.com or whatever the email address is when, when they have it um, on file, whatever your whatever the email is for Convault, they're going to send that out. Now, if you want a specific job, you're going to right-click, you're going to view uh, job history, and you're going to click OK. Let's say, let's say everything. Let's say jobs, whatever. Push OK. Now these are all the jobs I've run on this comp cell in the past however long. Now a couple of different things here. So you can right click on this and you can send this job as well. You can send it to Commvault, let's say. Same thing, job ID, uh, logs, everything is pretty much highlighted, notification. And it's going to send out, you push OK, it's going to send it out to Commvault. We're not doing that because we're just not. So if you want to view the logs, you right click and click on view logs. And this is going to tell you, it's going to start off, of course, this job instantly failed, but it's going to start off with the job manager and then from there. Your job manager is usually the first thing that you look at, okay? I'm running a special right now until March 1st. This course is free. No money, no money, no money. Free, free, free course. So the coupon code is until March 1 underscore 2022. So if you go to garymcneely.teachable.com and the course is Commvault Beginner 11 Beginner Course. And the coupon code, once again, is until March 1 underscore 2022.